Hello, this is Archbishop Ken McNabb from Global Harvest International Fellowship and King's Pastor Christian Center. I'm going to tell you, both ministries are doing amazing. God is doing incredible things through Global Harvest all over the world. We're getting reports of miracles, of extensions and expansion. We give God praise. And through the local church, King's Pastor Christian Center, God is doing awesome things. It's a new day. And it's an exciting day. And uh, I, I want to take a moment just before we get into the Word because I got something good for you today. You're going to be blessed by it. But just before we get into it, I want to encourage you to make sure you go to the website eaglesgathering.net because this year, August 5, 6, and 7, right here at King's Pastor Christian Center, we're going to be holding one of the most amazing conferences that you've ever attended. It's going to be phenomenal, powerful. God's going to do great things. We want you to be a part of it. That's the reason that the registration is free. So you need to go online and register so that we can be prepared for you. That's what the registration does. It doesn't cost you anything. It just helps us to be properly prepared to minister to you when you come. The second thing is you need to make your room reservations and you need to do that immediately. Now, we have until just the next couple of days and the registration time they've given us, it's over. So you've got to do it immediately because in the next day or two, uh, they will cut it off. And so you need to get on the phone right now and make your reservations. And uh, that way you can get the discount. And not only that, you'll have everything set. And you'll be ready to be here and to enjoy the conference. And as always, we're gonna have great morning sessions and we're gonna have great evening sessions but the afternoon is always set aside for free time so that you can rest and relax or you can go to the Callaway Garden area and enjoy all the amenities that are there. There's so many incredible things that you can do. Activities for individuals, activities for families, whether it's to go to the beach or whether it's to go uh, play golf or whether it's to enjoy the butterfly uh, exhibit that they have there that where you can go in. It's amazing. It's a beautiful setup. Also, they've got, uh, oh my goodness, help me, Bishop. What else do they have there? They, they've got so many things that people can enjoy. The zip lines uh, that you can do if you're in for some good activity. There's also uh, other things that you can rent to do throughout the garden area. So it, it's just amazing. And then beyond that, there's other things. There's uh, a safari deal that you can do uh, where that you can actually go and see wild animals uh, and they'll come right up to the vehicle that you're in and they'll, uh, and it's always better to rent the ones that they have than to take yours, I can tell you that. And and you rent one of their vehicles and go out there, They'll come. the giraffes will come up, the zebras will come up, all these different animals, they come right up to the vehicle. Uh, you can do that. There's another thing, they've got horseback riding that's available. Uh, canoeing is available. So many things that you can enjoy and do that's right here in the immediate area. So I want you to take advantage of it and come to be revived, but also to be refreshed. It's going to be a great, great time. August 5, 6, 7. Again, register if you haven't registered. Get your reservations made now because they're going to cut off our, our, our deadline uh, for being able to get the rate of $89. So you want to be able to get get advantage of that. All you got to do to take advantage of that when you call the numbers, let them know you're a part of Global Harvest and make your reservations and they will get you the rate. All right? Because I don't want you to miss that opportunity and then later you decide to come to the conference or you've already decided to come, but you procrastinate, you put off making your reservations and then you say, well, Archbishop, they wouldn't give me the rate. Why didn't they give me the rate? Well, the reason is because that you waited too late. <laughs> Don't be like the five foolish virgins. Don't let the door of opportunity close quickly. Do what you need to do. Get here. It's going to be powerful. All right. We want to get right into the Word of God quickly. And uh, we've been talking a little bit about some things that are so very important to us, and that's benefits in the kingdom, things that we have in Christ. Not only what we have in Christ, but who Christ is in us. These are things that the scripture has made very clear and that God wants us to enjoy. We have victory in Christ. We have 
love that is beyond understanding in Christ. We have so many blessings and benefits. And here's the beautiful thing. What he has made available to us, when we understand that it's ours through the redemptive process, there is no devil that can disconnect you from your benefit, your blessing, or your inheritance. No devil. The devil doesn't have the authority to do that. You need to understand that. The authority that God gave Adam, the first Adam, in the garden, it was lost. Why was it lost? Well, first of all, Eve was deceived, but Adam knowingly transgressed. And because he was the one with the authority, God had given him authority. And he was the one that was in charge of everything in the earth realm. But the moment that he knowingly went against what God had instructed, he lost his authority. Satan gained the authority. But when the last Adam came, Oh, hallelujah. When the last Adam, Jesus, came, he came to undo everything that had been done against us so that no longer do we have to be afraid of death, of sickness, of disease, of poverty, of any kind of fear or fearful attack. We don't have to be afraid for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And we are more than conquerors, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 35, through him that loved us and gave his life for us. We are more than a conqueror. That's why I love Luke chapter 10, verse 19, that says, behold, this is Jesus talking. Before he ever died, before he was ever raised from the grave, he said, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon scorpions and serpents and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now listen to that. I give unto you power. That word power is not dunamis, which we get our word dynamite from. That means explosive. It is the word exousia, which means authority. I give you authority over all the works of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's a benefit, a blessing of being in the kingdom, being in Christ. But if you're not fully persuaded of that, the devil will cause your world to reel and rock with all kinds of winds of adversity and trouble, and you will be in a place of imprisonment when you're supposed to be like a calf that's been let out of the stall enjoying a big plush green pasture. But it only happens when you know and when you are sure. A couple of things I wrote down here that I just want to I, I want to quickly give you. The first thing is this: on the grounds of Jesus' victory over Satan, we have a legal right to accept Jesus as our personal Savior and to enter into the kingdom of God as dear sons. Not just we're not servants, we're sons. Don't get that servant mentality like the prodigal son did when he came back and told his father, if you just let me be a servant. They've got it better than I've had it being away from you. And the father looked at him and said, come here, boy. You're my son. You'll never be a servant. Because a servant doesn't have the benefits, the privileges, or the blessing that a son has. And I want you to know that if you've accepted Christ, then you have been a part of, you are now a part of the kingdom. See, total victory in Jesus means total redemption, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 17. And then when you realize that, you also can see that we have a legal right to everything that Jesus accomplished. Not just some of it, all of it. Too many people are only taking a piece of the pie when God has already purchased the whole pie. And he's given it to those who love him and to those who trust you. Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus that you will enable my dear friend to embrace with the full force of their faith the reality that they are in Christ and Christ is in them. They are in the kingdom and the kingdom is in them. And therefore, everything that you bought and paid for is ours now. It's not going to be. It is ours now. I pray in Jesus' name they will latch hold of it and not let go that they will remain fully confident and fully persuaded in Jesus' name.
I love you. I thank God for you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at Eagles Gathering 2015, August 5, 6, and 7. And until next time, may God's best be yours, is our prayer. No restrictions, no limits. Eagles Gathering 2015, August 5, 6, and 7. Presented by Archbishop Ken McNatt and Global Harvest International Fellowship. This great conference will be hosted by King's Pasture Christian Center in Hamilton, Georgia. Featuring amazing artists like Abraham on sax, the powerful vocal trio Highway 22, world-renowned pianist Dr. Adlin Cruz, experience the dynamic ministry of Holly Hosick, Nigerian gospel music icon Soji Israel, praise and worship by Adam M. Belinda, ministry by Bishop Roderick Mitchell, a timely word by Archbishop Ken McNatt, Take advantage of the special room rates at the Mountain Creek Inn of Callaway Gardens, a premier luxury resort in beautiful Pine Mountain, Georgia. Register today at eaglesgathering.net.